Hello Odooers, my name is Jose Ignacio and I'm your guide to all things Odoo. In this lesson, we're going to go over how to create an Odoo database, how to add users, and how to install applications. So enough chit chat, let's get into it. So let's start on odoo.com. I'm going to create a new database by clicking on the start now, it's free button over here in the center. Now once that I click that button, I'm going to be taken to a list of applications that I can install for my database. I'm going to select sales and CRM over here. I could add more apps later on if I wanted to. So this banner over here on the right, well, it lets me know that I have a 15 day free trial, no credit card required. We're that confident. We don't even want your information. So let's hit continue because we need a little bit of information. First, we need our name and last name and as well as a company name. And for this one, I'm going to type in Jose's company down here and you'll notice it's also used to create the URL for the Odoo database, but if I'd like a different one, I can hit this little pencil and change it up. Next, the other important thing I want to highlight is this little country section. You should choose the country in which your company is operating. Selecting the correct country here is crucial because it can impact various aspects of your business and your database, including the chart of accounts. Quite important because if you install the accounting application, this will depend on the country you selected because once you have a chart of accounts set, you can't remove it, so be sure you have the correct country set here. And for our company size, let's leave it at this less than five. We're pretty stealth as a startup. I can also say why I'm opening this database in my primary interest. I'm going to say that I happen to be a teacher. All right, let's get ready to rumble and we're going to get started. Perfect. Once that I hit that button, Ode will start creating my database. After a short wait, the database will be finished building. So once the database is finished building, the first thing I notice is this big activation email sent warning at the top of the page. This banner indicates that I need to register the database and click on the activation link that was sent to my email because that's the only way to set the database to a full 15 day trial or to simply activate it. So be sure to remember that. Now, if you don't activate the database within a three hour time frame, well, what happens? Well, all your data is removed and it cannot be restored. Trust me. So we're going to make sure to activate ours afterwards via this email example that I'm showing you on the screen. It should also be noted that some apps automatically download and install with others. For example, invoicing installs whenever the sales application is installed. That's because these apps work together to complete different tasks during the sales process. There are also several applications that are installed by default for all Odoo databases, including Discuss, Calendar, Employees, Apps, Settings, and others. But right now we're going to cover company information real quick. So I'm going to jump into the settings application and then we're going to focus on the section called companies and select update info inside of here. All right. So if you see in the top left, it gives us an option to add a photo. Well, that's where we can upload our nice little company logo. So to do that, we're going to click add photo. We're going to select our nice little one right there and boom, just like that, we can hit save and we got our nice little logo there. If we want to trash it. We can just hit that. We want to edit it. We can just select our nice little pencil there. Okay. I can also add other general information here, like my company's address, phone number, and even the website if I have one. But let's go back to general settings right now. Okay. So now let's focus on this users area. I'm going to select manage users over here at the top. Now in this page is where I can invite my team to use the company database. By default, I am automatically listed as a user because I created the database. That makes sense, right? Then I'm going to create a new user for my associates, Steve. So we're going to select new up at the top right there. We're going to name this user Steve Odu, and we're going to do Steve at example.com. And we're just going to copy that right there as well. Perfect. All right. Once that we're done with that, you have a few other options. You can deal with access rights. We have separate videos for them because they kind of go in depth and there's different use cases here but this is the same area where you'd want to change that as well as whether or not somebody's an administrator, which is important for something else that I'm going to talk about in a little bit. Going into the preferences tab, we could change this user's language and other things if necessary, including determining notification style, whether by emails or within Odoo and preferences in the event that they like Odoo dark mode. All right. But once I create a new user, by the way, Odoo sends the user an invitation email. So we're going to manually save up at the top and just like that. Boom, sent. Steve can then proceed by clicking the invitation link in the email, creating a password, adjusting their user preferences and setting a digital signature. If they mess up, we can actually change the password for them by selecting this little gear icon up at the top. And you can see the options right there. Boom. 
Since Odo is price per user, our monthly charge will increase, by the way, because we have added Steve. Specific charges can be explored on the Odo pricing webpage or with your account manager. Now, if we return over here to users by selecting the breadcrumbs, we can see that Steve is now a user, but they haven't connected yet. So they should do that soon. All right, let's go back to our main page over here. Okay, let's say that I want to install another Odoo app to boost my company's productivity. We don't even have to go back to odoo.com for that. We can do everything right here in the database. So let's select our apps app right there. And we just gotta search for it up at the top or scroll through here if we see one we like. And then all we have to do is click install and boom, just like that. It'll install all the apps and modules that I've selected on my database. It should be noted once again that you must have administrator access rights to do these actions. And you saw me talk about that earlier. All right, lastly, let's talk about demo data. So I'm gonna go back to our homepage. Now, Odoo has built in dummy data that you can use to train users or play around with workflows. To install it, we're gonna to need to jump back into our settings app over here, scroll down to the bottom, activate developer mode. In my case, I'm already inside of developer mode, so the only thing I can do is deactivate it. But you see this little button right below it that says load demo data. Once that you have developer mode activated, I have access to some technical fields. And one of those options that was previously unavailable was load demo data. Once that I select this, you have this warning right there. It's imperative that you do not use it on production databases if there is prior data that can be contaminated. This will change all of the data on the database. So do not use it if that's the case. And you'll see now once that I'm out of developer mode, it's gone for good reasons. And that's it for this video, Odoers. You now know how to start a database, install apps, and add users, and what demo data is. Like a pro, you are learning. Thanks for watching, and remember to check out our other videos for more Odoo tips and tricks. Today, I don't have a snack, but go grab a snack.